If you are applying for the jobs and not getting enough calls, these are few tips that have helped me and might help you as well. So let's get started. So the first point is skills section. Now every resume that you have, whatever resume that you have, might have skill sections, right? It has a skill section which defines whatever skills you have. Now sometimes I see that this skill section might have written as technical skills, right? You might write like for an example, you have technical skills, you have written technical skills, and then you have written whatever skills you have, right? Etc. etc. Okay. So now what happens is that instead of writing technical skills, tend like try to write skills instead. Now, what is instead of writing technical skills, write try to write skills, just simple skills. The reason is because let's say whenever you're going to write or whenever you're going to upload the resume to any of the portal okay try it out on your own as well if you go to work day okay and if you are going to fill up the portal uh, or if you're going to upload the resume they give you an option to like fill up the overall details with your resume itself now what happens is as soon as you click on that what will happen is it will pick up the name email address and all that stuff but one of the most important thing is it's going to pick up the skills as well Okay, so whatever skills that you have provided inside your skill sections will automatically get populated inside their portal skill section as well. So just not to confuse the system, just try to write only skills instead of technical skills or something like that. Okay, try to write pure skills in the with the help of this. What happens is as soon as you upload your port, upload your resume to any and any kind of portal, it will be easier for the portal to pick up the skills and populate within itself. So this is one of the point that I have uh, found out because I used to also write technical skills. Then I've moved from technical skills just to skills. And this has helped me a lot. Let's move on to the next question or ne next point actually. That is frequent update of a resume. Again, what does this point exactly means is that let's say you want to, there are let's say five companies that you have to apply. Now what people tend to do is that people stay a bit lazy. What they do is basically they will create one simple resume and then they will use the same resume to every company each of the five company so there is a possibility that company a might need integration company b might write lwc company c might need einstein bot developer but what they do is they just write aura vf page etc etc stuff and just apply to each of this company now by doing so you reduce the chances Okay, you reduce the chances. Why, why, why am I saying is that because let's say if some company is hiring for Einstein bot and if you are applying for that such, such, such kind of company, it does not make sense. Right. So if you can find out a video or something like that to understand Einstein bot quickly and if you want to still apply to that C company, right, which is specific Einstein bot, just watch a video and then provide Einstein bot inside your skills as well. In simple means, what I'm trying to say is that try to provide the skills whichever are been mentioned by the company. So if some company is asking for integration, write integration in your resume. If you know it, okay, only if you know it, if you don't know it, still try to learn and then write it inside it. This increases the chances because the reason is basically the skills that they have mentioned matches with the skills that you have. Now this, what will do is it will increase your chances of getting a call from the company. Now, if you use the same resume for all, all of the companies, there is more amount of chances that this company does not need this kind of developer. So try to read first the skill sections that they have and then update your resume accordingly. Don't be lazy. Try to do it. It works. It works like wonder. So frequent update of resume, frequent update of resumes based on the skill sets that have been mentioned by the company, update your resume accordingly. This will help you out a lot. Not all the like, don't like if this specify 10 skills, don't specify 10 out of 10 skills, right? Eight out of 10 is also fine. It's a good score. Okay. So let's move on to the next point. That is updates of profile. Now, <coughs> this is, this is the recommendation that has been given to my, given to me by my friend. Okay. So one of my friend, I used to not get the calls when I was two, three years of experience. I never used to get the calls and used to get a lot of calls. He was a C++ developer, but he used to get calls frequently. He used to get calls frequently. And I used to not, I used to ask him, how, how are you getting these calls? So he just gave, told me one thing that whatever profile or what, like, let's say you're applying from knockery.com. Let's say you're applying from LinkedIn. Let's say you're from any portal that you have, right? make frequent updates on these portals for an example let's go to linkedin right if you want to show people that you are available most of the time go and update something right just update a skill update your description update your photo do frequent updates not every day but 
in every week or three four days after three four days try to make updates so what will happen is this will make your profile most active like it will be always available and active to the uh, recruiters right they will think that okay you are available all the time and then most probably they will reach out to you over the linkedin as well i have seen this uh, and this is also from the experience from my friends so these are the experiences of the two people and it has worked for me as well so updating of the profile frequently that i update my photos and all the stuff so this was the third point let's move to the last point is that content movement now this is one of the most important point and many of the people reach out to me saying that okay i'm not able to understand how to create this resume i'm not like uh, for an example what they do is they write a brief description like they have they write a long description about themselves right i am this i am that and talk about uh, like how much experience do they have and etc etc stuff and just below that they will write a professional summary and it will be a very big professional summary after that they will write about their school education system uh, like whatever marks they have got and then they will provide technical skills and something like that now think about it when an hr calls you what is the first thing she asks you or she or he asks you is that what are the years of experience you have worked on what is the relevant experience you have and what are the skills you have and what are the certifications you have so these are the few more important points that are been asked by an hr so that's what she or he might expect inside the resume as well okay so whenever you are going to apply or whenever you're going to create a resume inside your resume we provide a brief description about ourselves right so keep it a short simple description about yourself like hi my name is xyz and i have or let's say i am a salesforce developer with 4.5 years of experience uh, completely relevant in salesforce development okay if you write this point even before opening if, even if you go to a resume even before opening you can see at the top whatever is written so even before opening she can find out okay he is 4.5 years experienced and he has about salesforce developer he is a complete salesforce developer relevant salesforce developer right next as soon as you as soon as he or she opens that resume next thing first of all write the description about yourself like how much years of experience you have how much relevant experience do you have provide these details okay uh, like if you are a salesforce developer with 4.5 years of experience you can write it or write about it and also talk about like in what se what sections have you worked on in very brief like for an example i am for, i am uh, xyz uh, i am a uh, salesforce developer with 4.5 years of experience i have worked on field service lightning digital engagement or service cloud etc etc and that's it okay don't write too much honestly hr does not care about do you like badminton or something like that don't write about it instead just write it's it's like you are creating a manual about yourself like to sell your skills right so you are trying trying to create a manual about yourself don't write unnecessary things inside it instead write very specific things right so that with the help of this hr can easily find you out next is you have to provide your skills okay next section immediately after this provide the skills that you have okay either provide the skills or either provide the certification let's say i'll provide the skills i myself i usually provide the skills in my resume that the second point is skills so immediately as soon as the hr opens the resume what's going to happen is the how oh, happen is that they will be able to see my skills first okay that's what they are interested in right they are not interested in what i do and what projects i have done like what projects is fine but first they will try to find the experience you have number second is the technical skills that you have once you have the technical skills provided next is you have to provide the certification next is you have to provide the certification now as soon as you provide the certification this is the first page makes like much more clearer for nature that whether should we call this candidate or not right if you are going to provide perfect skills inside it and certifications what whichever are required in uh, by the end hr or by the end company if you provide all of this the chances of you get like the chances of you getting a call will increase right as soon as i open the resume i will get the following details easily and quickly and you, as you are going to update the relevant details uh, as per as the company as per as our second point i believe not second point i think so third point it was second point or third point yeah it was i think the first point only so we were talking about updating the skills uh, according to the uh, according to the job profile right so basically just update the description skills and certification and then give the summary of your whatever project you have done that's totally fine okay but keep this thing in mind update the description the skills and the certification at the top so that as soon as hr is going to open the resume they will be able because 
think uh, they will be able to see the these three things okay because if you think about it they get 4000 applicants they are not going to read one by one that oh you have worked on this project what have you done in this project they don't care about it they just care about how much experience you have because that's what they get right how much experience we need this this much number of experienced people person with this this skills and as soon as they open the resume if they are able to see that then they will go and move forward with the resume and then it will go when you sit for the interview then that's where the technical person is going to ask you about your project so even if you pro provide the details about your project at the bottom that's totally fine but just provide the description which will define your years of experience relevant years of experience skills and certification at the top so this has worked this points has worked really for me so this was all about this video if you found this video helpful i request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel